not my experience. Okay. But apparently there are groups of Christians mm -hmm. that don't believe demons exist. Correct. So why the hell not? <laughs> yeah. So within some Christian circles, they believe the idea of demons or unclean spirits is like an old archaic way of thinking that had to do more with superstition and ignorance than it did with the fact that there was actually demons. But Jesus talked to one. Correct. Yeah, I know. I, I, I understand. So what and, are they? What? <laughs> I know, but a lot of these same individuals don't believe the Bible is completely um, uh, inerrant either. Okay. And so they're taking kind of bits and pieces from Scripture. And Sounds like a demon told them that. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's not even funny. No, I think it's oh, actually well, real. Okay. Um, I think it's part of when Paul talks about the doctrine of demons in First Timothy four verse one. I think this is what he's talking. I think that's part of what he's talking about, like this idea of the doctrine of demons, of uh, the idea that you know, hey, we can, you know, let's just discard parts of the truth. Okay. And so, but yeah, so so but these groups within Christianity, and you do find them in a lot of progressive Christians or a lot of or progressive Christianity or a lot of mainline Protestant churches. Mm -hmm. Not, I'm not saying all of them. I don't want to make this huge blanket statement. But what you find is either, either one, they don't believe in demons, or they just don't take it seriously enough. Okay. Like, they don't believe them in them because they feel like, well, 2,000 years ago, they didn't understand mental health. Or 2,000 years ago, medicine wasn't advanced enough to understand some medical conditions and issues, oh. things like seizures and epilepsy and that kind of thing. So anything that we don't understand that doesn't look like fun must be demons. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's what you're saying. Like, no, but that's what they, that's what they're, that's what they, well, if you don't believe in demons. Right. Yeah. So what they're saying is basically, hey, if you don't believe in a demon, or we don't believe in demons, we just believe that was just, again, superstition. So if our kid comes out kind of uh, men mentally challenged uh -huh. or spectrumed, okay. uh, you love that then <laughs> that's demons. No, they and would that's say- that's what they thought, or that's what these people think. They were saying back oh, then. Oh, 2,000 years ago. Yeah. Yes, I'm following you now. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. And where now we understand. So cast we're, this because, demon out. He's drooling too much. Right. Because we're more enlightened now is the idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. We know more. And so, but I think you bring up a great point. Was Jesus just insane then? Because if Jesus is talking to a demon, but the demon's not really there. Oh, then he maybe Jesus is insane. Talking to a guy. Talking to it. Yeah. Talk, just talking to a guy. And so, but of course they would say, well, Jesus didn't actually do that. That was just written in da, 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 by his followers or by people in that era that were caught up into these superstitions. Oh. So, yeah. Um, and it kind of created some stories and elaborated probably more than they should have. So, How, so however, the problem with that is, like throughout throughout Jesus' ministry, he's casting out demons. And throughout his ministry, he's telling people that he has come to cast out demons. And he even tells his disciples he's gathering them to himself in Mark 3 for the purpose of them being with him and then for them to actually go out and cast out demons. Oh. So like... So he says it enough times. Je Jesus is perpetuating this repeatedly. Okay. Throughout the Gospels. Um, and so I think that, yeah, so there's some churches that just don't believe there's demons. And, and I can say that because I was in a theology school where, I mean, I would have probably say 90% of the students did not believe in demons. Okay. But you believe in demons. I believe in demons. Because it says it in the Bible. Because it says it in the Bible. Okay. And I've experienced demons 
and demonic influence and deliverance sessions. Been in all that stuff. On Twitter. <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> there is probably some demonic activity actually on Twitter. So, yeah. So, and then I think there's another group that like believe that demons exist. Like they would acknowledge they exist, but they don't give them really any attention. Okay. Like they think, like, whatever. They, they're probably real, but they're really not doing much of anything. Thank you.